Good morning, everybody. I have my giant mug here. Remember, thoughts become things, brothers. And my thoughts for today are, I'm gonna be a busy ass bitch. <laughs> Greetings loved ones and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. I want to make another vlog today that is kind of moving focused but showing you all of the little things that I'm doing for the move that are going to help out future me. You know what I mean? <laughs> so going through all of our like junk drawers, getting rid of stuff, just kind of general decluttering so that when we pack we don't just like tip a drawer into a box and be like we'll deal with that later you know but more so we know what's in there and I've like packaged it into little tiny bags or something like that so we can kind of sort things more easily and hopefully keep it sorted in the future but we all know we have one of those like shit drawers and I have a lot of shit drawers in my house where I'm just like throw that shit in there I don't know what's in there now but I gotta go through it. And yesterday I went through a bunch of the shit drawers in my kitchen and got rid of so much stuff. And then I went to my desk in the office and I sorted that as well. I took out each drawer and I just sorted it into piles, safety pins, binder clips, all these things where it's just like kind of making a method of the madness in a way. And then today I need to do an upstairs shit drawer because that drawer we actually never open. Like I don't even know what's in there. I don't know why we have have this furniture piece. It's like this old bedside table kind of a situation that Finley used to have in his apartment. But even when he had it at his apartment, it was a shit drawer. And I just need to go through it and be like, why are you here? You know? And then I'm going to get rid of that furniture piece probably on a Buy Nothing Facebook group, which I've been doing every day. And so a lot of what I'm doing in this vlog is just like taking apart all of those areas and being like, okay, if you have so much of it, what can you give away to somebody else who might need it? Or what can you sort into um, piles? to pack and stuff like that so that's what this vlog is going to be but also I'm home alone right now today Finley is flying home from Virginia because he's leaving the farm truck after unloading all of the pigs they safely made it to Virginia and he unloaded the U-Haul trailer that he towed and if you guys are unaware of what I'm talking about I will link my last moving vlog on the screen because that was moving vlog number one of moving the pigs and all of the basement stuff and a bunch of storage stuff so Finley has unloaded all of that and is working on it right now actually as I film this and the pigs are so so happy they're like completely situated in their new space and they have a great pasture and honestly guys it is better for them there than it was here because they have green grass but in their entire pig pasture here all of the grass is dead for them so they just don't even eat it when it turns into like hay i know that a lot of hogs eat hay but my hogs do not like hay they like fresh green grass they're spoiled ladies so as soon as they got to virginia they were just like green grass because virginia actually has summertime rains a lot of the east coast does which i miss so much like a nice summer thunderstorm but the pigs are safe they're good finley's leaving the farm truck there after he's like unloaded everything and he's gonna get an oil change on it and like leave it in the barn in good shape um, before he leaves it to sit for a little while while we are here packing so he flies in tonight at like 11 p.m so up until then i'm going to be like cleaning sorting organizing but also i want to make brookies which are brownie cookies and i'm going to make those and bring some of them to the airport for finley so this is like my ideal plan for today i literally just woke up and you can tell i'm like running a mile a minute like my coffee is hitting me i'm going to have my reading and my journaling time and then go into the kitchen and deal with the madness in there because apart from just organizing today we need to just like clear out a lot of the clutter because there's a lot of aftermath left from yesterday I have to sort all of my old candles and de-wax them and do something with the jars and just generally tidy up some of the spaces like the living room and the office since I went through it and then upstairs is a whole other story because I started Started doing laundry but also last night I started going through our linen cabinet and just organizing it all into piles and being like why do we still have full-size sheets we don't even own a full-sized bed you know what I mean so we have tons of stuff like that stuff from my first LA apartment with Lindsay you know what I mean where it's like why are we holding on to these things since 2014 so I need to put all of that into boxes as well to donate because all of our linens are still in really good condition but we just don't use them and we have so many pillowcases 
with so many pillows too. Oh my God, where it's just like every single thing that you take on the road when you're moving across the country costs you money in gas, okay? So we're trying to downsize a bit and have a good time with you while doing it. So I guess if I were to categorize or title this video, I would just say the decluttering and organizing part of moving. All right, so yesterday I put a bunch of boiling water into all of these candles. I know this looks insane, but this is like four plus years worth of candles like this. I've had since I lived in LA and a lot of other ones have just been here for so long. So um, there's a couple of ways that you can de-wax candles. Like other people when I posted this on Instagram were like, oh, I just put them in the freezer and then you can kind of chip the wax out. But this method sends all of the wax up to the top, generally speaking. It didn't work on this one. I don't think that the water was hot enough still. So I'm gonna have to redo this one, but that's fine because I also have this and this. And then yesterday I took out all of the plastic that I put into this drawer in here in my kitchen where I have like Reynolds wrap, parchment paper, like compostable bags, as well as all of these like beeswax wraps and like a silicone topper for a bowl, cloth topper, and then all of these mason jar lids. And I would just collect and hoard plastic, just like all these bags for travel and all these things. And now I'm like, do I even need any of these? So I'm keeping them right here for now. Obviously the oven is not on. And then this is a bunch of like dog stuff that I have to get rid of. And then this is a bunch of like prescriptions and old supplement bottles and things and stuff that I have to take to Safeway. Because I don't know if you guys know this or if this is just my Safeway, but they currently have a program that's like basically for you to bring in your old prescription and supplement bottles to be recycled. And I know there's a couple of programs, this isn't just like Safeway exclusive, but I put all of those aside because I have to bring them there. But after I eat my morning bacon, I'm gonna start de-waxing all these candles and making sense of the madness in here right now But this is what I cleaned out yesterday. Can you believe it? I still have to like vacuum it out, but that was my Shit drawer as I said does anybody have any tips on how to make their candles not get black around the edges like that All right, this is all of my stuff to make the brookies later So I'm trying to kind of like consolidate that over here and then figure out what actually needs to be washed in the sink because I need to do all these dishes right here. You know when you just like your partner or your roommates leave town or whoever you live with and you just turn into a little rat during the time that they're away and just like the house becomes a mess and you're just like okay with living in that temporarily and then the day that they're about to come home you're like all right i'm gonna clean all of it that's me today so i'm sure that a lot of you can relate to that you know like sometimes we don't keep our spaces as clean when it's just for us and having the responsibility of other people seeing it then you're like okay now i'll clean but i'm gonna do some dishes now so that i can clear the sink so I can do the rest of the candle de-waxing because I'm gonna need to pour out some water down the sink and stuff like that. And there's just too much clutter in here. It's not like that many dishes, but it's definitely something I need to do. So let's do these dishes right now. Wow. See, not that many. Normally it spills over to there, but this is manageable. Now let's do all these candles. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay guys, the candle thing honestly took forking forever. So note to self and to all of you, if you have a candle and you just used it up and there's still, you know, that little silver round at the bottom with the baby wick of it and like a little bit of wax, just immediately boil your water pour it in, clear it out the next morning. Cause having four years worth of candles to do all of that for, it took freaking forever. It took over an hour. And now I have all of this like black stuff under my fingernails. But now I'm in a different area of my kitchen because I need to tackle my jar collection. So I collect so many bottles and jars and all of this stuff. Some of it just because I think I'll reuse it and some of it I do reuse. But because we're moving, I just like do not need to hold on to any of this. And I know that I could get rid of so much of it. So I'm just going to do that now and show you the before because I'm about to really clear it out. I might keep a couple of little containers. Other than that, I really don't think that I need 
literally any of this. Rue is being so clingy today. She's sitting right behind me. But this is the before, so I'm obviously keeping my nice mixing bowls, my funnels. I need to ask Finley if he wants to keep this Nutribullet that Lindsay gave us because she got rid of it, and he wanted it for his Huel when he was in his Huel phase, but now he does not even drink Huel anymore, so I'm like, do we get rid of that? Also, all of these, like old olive oil bottles, like a sake bottle I'm for some reason holding on to, all of these like cider and beer bottles. I actually think we're gonna keep all of these because we still have to bottle our blackberry mead, but we're just gonna move with the carboys. And then I think Finley said he wants to get rid of all of the glass bottles. I don't remember, but we have a ton of them in the basement. And then I can give all of these back to local farmers and stuff for eggs. These jars, these literally need to be cleaned. They still have oil in them from infusions I was making and I just didn't ever clean them, which is disgusting, mate. You wanna go out? You know how to open that door, Rue. I'm just gonna start making a pile of like what I'm actually keeping and everything else it needs to go into the recycling. And this is the thing too with sustainability, like you can just turn into a low-key hoarder. And I know that that is a term that has a lot of weight to it. And I obviously don't mean that I have like, you know, some huge problem, but I just keep everything because I'm like, oh, there's a use for this entire box of freaking twist ties. I could use those on my garden to stake up peas or something like that. And then I save every single twist tie I ever get and never get rid of them. And then all of my rubber bands, all of my glass jars, all of my like plastic that comes into the house, I save it. And it's like, ugh, what do you think you're gonna do with it? If you haven't used any of it in like a year, this is a message to all of you. If you do this too, just get rid of it. I know it comes from a place of like, okay, well, if this came into my house, I need to figure out a way to like deal with it accordingly or reuse it or whatever. But if you realize after a while, like you're not really doing that, then you need to let it go to its next home. And sometimes that's the recycling center or the dump. So that's my sustainable realization today. Okay, well I'm having a lunch break now because Finley's flight got delayed and delayed and delayed and then he finally went and talked to the lady at the front desk and she was like, there's a thunderstorm, I don't really know if you're gonna be leaving today. And then she rescheduled his flight for tomorrow morning. So kind of unfortunate he's not getting in tonight but that's okay. So I'm having my little lunch break. I just added some pickled red onion that I homemade onto here. And I have a rib of celery and a carrot and a layer of hummus on the outside. This is my favorite lunch right now. So that's why I'm showing you how to make it. And then I have some goat cheese from Vermont Creamery. And I just crumble a little bit of that on there. Then a little bit of cracked pepper. Then I just roll it up and enjoy. Y'all, I feel like a crazy person right now. I just cleaned every single one of these jars. The lids are in here. I think I'm gonna list these on Buy Nothing actually, just for anybody to come and grab, as well as these ones, which don't have lids, that we got like the first year that we moved here at some consignment shop for like a dollar. We just got a bunch of jars. And then I was cleaning all of these. I'm only keeping my ball jars and my cur jars, like the good quality ones, and the rest of them, I'm like, I don't need them. These I'm still cleaning out and I just like my brain feels like it's exploding because you know what I just remembered come with me down to my shit show of a basement but I remembered when I was cleaning all of the jars oh look what I have in here more jars it never ends it just never ever ends so I think I'm just gonna list these on buy nothing as well because I can't move across the country with 4,700 jars. I don't know where they're all coming from. I don't even remember buying these. My jar saga has great news, everybody. My neighbor Olia is going to take all of my jars without lids because she has too many lids. And this is why having neighbors in the country is just the freaking best because somebody always needs what you don't and you can just help each other. So I'm just rinsing out all the jars for her and making sure that even the bottom of the box is like cleaned out because all this was like in our basement. So I'm just cleaning everything and making sure that it's all good to go. And then I'm gonna bring them over to her and also give her three jars of pickles as a thank you for taking my stuff because we also have too many pickles. <laughs> well, I would call this clear out a big success. I'm only keeping this many jars. And it's still a lot of jars, you know what I mean? I just listed these on Buy Nothing, but we're gonna have to see if somebody gets them. If not, I'll just recycle them. But now I'm going to vacuum the aftermath of all of these dirty shelves and organize the bottom level, and then I'm gonna stream. 
I don't know how to make this look cuter, but it's just going to be temporary anyways. But I'm going to bring this basket here instead of the cardboard one that was there before. And then I'll put all the jars back once they're dried later on. But I have to go stream. Two hours later. Okay, I just finished streaming and I was playing The Sims. I didn't show it. I figured you guys come to the streams if you want to see them. And while my tofu is currently in the oven, I just put some of this stuff back on the shelf. So in here, I'm just keeping these like three empties. So the reason I'm keeping these is because I fill my bulk vegan parm into here. And then I use like a separate shaker and fill it up in here to have um, on the table for like having pasta and stuff. And then I make homemade ketchup and I fill it up into here. And I don't have any of these made currently. So the empties are right there to kind of like remind me to make them. Then I have my big mixing bowls and my funnels. And then the Huel, I'm gonna ask Finley about when he gets home. Like if he wants to keep it or donate it to a food pantry or something. And then I'm gonna ask him also about the Nutribullet. And all of these, once they're done drying, I'll put the lids back on them and then put them on the shelf or package them into a box temporarily until we move. I wanted to tell you guys that tonight on the stream, we made like a collective list of suggestions from not only myself, but mostly my viewers saying where you can sustainably donate things to rather than just putting them in your garbage can. Because even though I was saying earlier in this vlog, you know, sometimes you realize that things can't be reduced, reused or recycled and you need to just like send them to the landfill and it's okay and we accept that. But also at the same time, if you have some items that like a local church or a food pantry or a local school, library, all these places could use, Check out the description for some donation resources. It also helped me out a ton with like trying to decide where exactly I'm gonna like give all these things to. But that all being said, I'm very pleased with the shelf right now. And I think that when Finley gets home in the morning, he will also be like, oh my God, it looks incredible. And another little junk shelf that I need to sort soon is this stuff because this is mostly like homestead stuff, like mushroom extracts and dried mushrooms, like our lion's mane and reishi and stuff like that. I know that the lighting's really weird in here. It's just like, all warm and overhead and then I also have some herbalism projects up here that I need to decide what I want to do with and then I have all of these sunglasses which honestly I like never wear sunglasses there's more behind my citric acid I also just kind of made sense of this glassware cabinet right here and just kind of like sorted things but I also cleared out a shit ton of this layer and that layer and the entire top and I'm currently just staring at our pantry just being like I'll probably just take all of that. But you know what I do need to declutter next? Another junk drawer. I'm having basically what I had for lunch today, but instead of having carrot on it, I put little pieces of artichoke on it and I'm adding tofu. The warm tofu can kind of mix in with the goat cheese and melt it a little bit. I might add some more tofu on there. It looks delicious. This garlic and herb tofu is Cozy Peach Kitchen's recipe. It's to mimic the um, Publix one that they're always out of, which you guys saw when I was home and vlogging and I had like raw tofu in a pub sub. This is much better. This is what she should look like. <laughs> Delicious, but I'm gonna keep this in a Tupperware throughout the week to add to my wraps. I'm so exhausted My back hurts so bad just because I've been cleaning all day But I just finished downstairs Decluttering a little bit and just making it look a little bit more presentable for Finley to come home in the morning Not that he really cares, but I never like to leave the house like disturbingly messy and I'm gonna change our sheets White, gray, blue. Nice. I also found these two blue pillowcases in our linen cabinet and we literally never use them, but it looks really cute on the bed with all this blue. There's already blue in the room and everything like that. Love it. Okay, Rue, you can come up on the bed and let's do this laundry. Well, I'll do it. You can rest. All right, time to put all this laundry away right now. Wow. Check it out. I even picked up the air mattress that I had left on the floor from when my friends slept over. And that happened like two weeks ago. Now I have all this running room. I'll say it right now, never get a white carpet, okay? It just has so much random little spots on it. Even just pieces of fuzz 
or like little pieces of thread look like stains. So I honestly feel like this might not make it across the country with us, but I'll have to ask Finley. It was his carpet after all. That's my pile of linens I'm donating. This is my pile of stuff to take downstairs because it doesn't belong up here. I got two separate cloaks at the Renaissance Fair in Silverton recently. This one is a little hooded cropped cloak that would go over like a shirt from Midgarb. And then this one is a long green wool cloak that is so pretty. I'm not unraveling it all the way, but it's amazing. And I've been looking for something like this for so long. So I'm very happy I found it, but I'm gonna put it in my coat closet downstairs because I won't be getting much use of it until we move to Vermont. Woohoo! Okay, I woke up this morning and I put the dish rack jars onto the shelf and I really like how it looks. It looks a lot more organized. I emptied the whole dish rack. I kept my ingredients here for my peanut butter brookies that I'm gonna make later because I just want them to be warm when Finley has them and I didn't have time to make them this morning before going to the airport. So just keeping the ingredients out. And I also organized into piles, donate to like Goodwill or social services, a dog shelter. These somebody did claim on buy nothing. These are things for friends. Those twist ties I'm still figuring out what to do with. And then those prescription bottles and supplement bottles I need to take somewhere. So this is like my method to the madness, which I'm very pleased with. Later. The peanut butter brookies turned out absolutely gorgeous darlings. I filmed me baking them for a Patreon video actually. Several days later. Hello. I have some moving updates for you. I'm out here in the old pig pasture and Finley started taking down the fence line in here. We have like a pallet fence that was surrounded by chicken wire. So there's like a lot of things. It was also staked into the ground. Like there's just a lot of things and a lot of time it takes to take it out of the ground. So I'll show you the progress that he's made so far. And you know, he's still gonna keep working on it and then we'll have to rehome all of these pallets. But honestly, I feel like pallets are in high demand out here, not just for fence lines, but also just for people to be um, like building stuff with. Like we made our garden beds out of pallets and I know people use them all the time for horse jumps and stuff like that out here in farm country. So we're just gonna rehome those. And then we also had a local guy, Rob, come by with his tractor the other day and he mowed the whole back pasture and ripped all of the blackberries off of the trees out here. But the back pasture looks freaking awesome right now. But I also wanted to say that we're in the midst of getting rid of a lot of barn stuff, which we've been doing for so long. Long, but our friend Athena came by last week with her kids and they brought their truck and they filled up like so much stuff into the back of their truck from our basement and our barn for their farm which is really really great and then today my neighbor Olia is gonna come by and look at a bunch of our gardening stuff like black pots gardening tools sprayers seed scatterers those types of things and I'm gonna put it out on a little garden bench for her and also I look really like a cutie pie today kind of a little cutie pie. I layered this free people shirt underneath my Urban Outfitters dress and I really like it. I'm trying to get used to layering more so that all of my clothes can be like reinvented. You know what I mean? Okay guys, this is what I just sorted our garden bench outside. So I sorted it into drain saucers, an iron hanging planter, plastic planter, our sprayers, that hooks up to a hose so you can put like fertilizer or garden food into there and then the water mixes with it and sprays out of it. And then we have all of these pots, every sized pot you could ever want. We have it from tree pots to medium, small, square, round, you name it, we got it. And I just looked this up and realized that Home Depot has a recycling program where you can bring back all of your black pots. Well, they don't even have to be black, just any plastic planter pot that you would use in your garden and take it out of its planter, put it in the ground, and then you're like, what do I do with this piece of plastic? They take it all back because curbside recycling in the US doesn't take stuff like this. So they started the program way back when to
to take all of these off of people's hands. So I listed them on Buy Nothing as well, but if people don't want them for their own greenhouses or gardens or anything, I'm just gonna take them to Home Depot. But when I did list it on Facebook, this guy commented and he was like, I'm not interested in any of the pots, but I am interested in that beautiful rustic garden bench. You looking to rehome that? And I said, yes, sir, we actually are. So I think Mr. Scott's gonna come by later and get this. Oh, I love this garden bench. I was just telling Finley, it's so beautiful. I wish we could keep it, but we're not gonna lug it across the country. We can always find an antique, something like this somewhere else. It's amazing. Um, but I'm about to go and go to the local little free library in my town and donate all of our books there. I'm looking for better donation resources than just listing everything on Facebook because then you have to wait on people to come and get them. And it was really helpful last Friday when me and my viewers on Twitch made that really nice like donation list of all of these places that take various things from the postal service, taking your rubber bands to you know Home Depot taking your pots. We made a big long list of all of the stuff that you can donate to various places. So I'm gonna go and see to that now. I donated last night when I went grocery shopping all of our pill containers to Safeway but I realized when I was at the little donation center that they have signs all over it that say we don't take supplements so now I just have to figure out what to do with all of our supplements that we have that we don't take anymore um, either try to rehome them or just unfortunately throw them away because it was just for like prescription medications so I got rid of all of that anyways this is your update for today still rehoming decluttering and downsizing that's the story of my life every day <laughs> wow larry that's very relaxing do you want to go on a car ride be sure got one book for myself larry well that was a success it's happening the tiny house is leaving us our neighbor mike is taking our tiny house bye thanks mike i hope your wife gets to use it as her guest house yeah, it sounds like it's actually going to be used for exactly what I intended, so... Exactly! I asked Quentin, the son of the guy who just came over to grab it, if he was excited about having it. He said, no, not so much. I mean, I'm not going to be using it. My mom is for the guests. I said, okay, well, maybe when you have sleepovers, you can put people up in there. And he said, no, I, I have a pretty cool fort in my room, so they'll just sleep at the base of my fort. I was like, oh, it's really all working out. Bye! Very it really casual. Looks, it looks so small on the back of that truck. I know, but it looks so huge when you stand next to it. He's got backup. At least he has the backup, you know. Watching it down the hill. This is where the tiny house was, and now she is no longer. We have the doormat sitting here. All the jacks it was on. Okay, today's task is to tackle the craft shelf and any extra craft stuff. I'm gonna donate to a place called Scrap in Portland, which is like a big bulk kind of zero waste craft store where you can donate a bunch of stuff and people just put it all in bins and you can come in and take what you want. So anything I don't need will be going there. This is currently the State of the Union. Really, really a lot of crap. But honestly, I'm keeping most of the crap, which nobody will be shocked to hear. All right, I made a method to the madness. So this is paints, glitters, varnishes, Mod Podge, those types of things. This doesn't have a label on it, but this is basically just a bunch of markers, pens, pencils, um, crayons, colored pencils, extra glue for my glue gun. And then these are all big packaged items. So like moss that I used for a craft project, my basket weaving kit, my tie dye kit, this styling ruler for sewing, and this I want to use in a future project because I'm going to save our Oregon license plates as well. And this was from when we lived in California. I might put them in like a future barn or something one day. This is me with my future mindset, but it's fine. And then I have so many coloring books. So these are all coloring books and then these are all sketchbooks. And then this is kind of the miscellaneous baskets. So I have a bunch of twine, some like little buttons and things like that for fiber arts. Um, this is really just a fiber art and stickers and misc decor, I guess, kind of a basket and a single party hat, which we reuse for every birthday. Um, <laughs> so this is the method to the madness. I'm just gonna pack it all up in a box because I've kind of sorted everything and kept what I want. So this is all good to go. But now we have to move on to the guest room slash office slash 
Oof, my dirty little secret. Okay, so earlier in this vlog, I was talking about how I hoard things in the name of sustainability. And you know, sometimes you just don't need to keep all of these things. So that's what I'm gonna do now with my packaging closet. So this is basically, do you see the sticky notes on the wall? That was when there was actually a method to the madness. I had all of these labels for like record and brand boxes, packing paper, priority boxes, brown paper bags, and bubble wrap. Now there is no method to this madness. I've just been shoving every box that I get in the mail from my PO box to the house, all of that in here. And then we also have like random storage stuff like our airsoft guns and suitcases and travel and like every letter that's ever been sent to my PO box as well, which I save. Old art, picnic baskets, like just all of these things. So I need to deal with some of this today and I literally don't even know where to start. Okay, this is what we're currently working with. I looked it up and all padded mailers that have some kind of plastic bubble wrap lining are not recyclable. The only ones that are recyclable are like paper and cardboard mailers with no bubble wrap on the inside. It doesn't matter if the outside feels like paper, if there is plastic bubble wrap on the inside, they cannot separate it and you can't recycle it. So the only ones that are in here are all paper and cardboard. All the other ones are trash, which is really sad, but it is what it is. And then this is tissue paper, gift bags cloth bags, ties, bubble wrap, and like styrofoam wrapping for glassware, which I'm keeping this. And then we literally haven't even made a dent in the wall of boxes, which I'm really trying to decide right now, like what am I keeping? What am I getting rid of? And so I kind of decided, okay, if I have this many boxes, every time I need a box, when I'm packing, I'll come in here first, grab one, pack into it, and then if, you know, the days before our move, there's still a shit ton here, I'm gonna put them all in the recycling. But I'm gonna try to use up as many as I can because, you know, any size box is a good size box to me. If we're moving little trinkets, packing things, making sure everything is good to go. So this is kind of what I'm leaving it at currently, but I might start packing some things in here because we have like a bunch of bags and other various things all up here. My next office project is to deconstruct my collage wall from all of the art from you. And I decided the best idea for me to do. So I'm gonna sit down and tell you about it. So I've had a PO box since probably 2015. And since then people have given me art at meetups, you know, VidCon, that type of thing. And then also sent me a ton of stuff to my PO box. So I just have years and years of artwork. Some artwork from people who literally will message me and be like, that art was so bad. I can't believe you still have that on your wall. Like so embarrassed about it. <laughs> and I know that um, I need to just make some more space on my walls as well. So this is my idea. So I have this empty binder and some sheet protectors left over from when I scrapbook for Finley's memory books every year. And I'm going to take, you know, pieces of art that people have made. Well, this one our friend Shay made for Finley's old merch, but I'm gonna put stuff like this into the sheet protector things on both sides and make kind of like a scrapbook of all of these pieces of art because a lot of them are just like taped to my doors and stuff like that. So it definitely will have more of like a concise theme to it. So I'm gonna start on that now. And I know like this is something that maybe I should have started a couple weeks ago when I originally had the idea, but I'm doing it now. And I need to also take photos of like old canvases and stuff like that that aren't on the wall anymore. And then I'm going to like print out the photos of them and put those photos in this book as well. So that's my best way to preserve all of your lovely art. This is a further disgusting Over the past few days, Finley and I have begun packing. He packed all of his books in these kind of Amazon Fresh boxes and files and all of those types of things. Not as many as I thought. You have definitely more than me though. I'm gonna sort and pack my books today. And then today, I just went through all of our 
paraphernalia. And I put in everything that we're keeping. I'm kind of bubble wrapping things, the fragile stuff. This was the cabinet and we're clearing it out. And I think that we're actually gonna get rid of this dresser. And now, because I've kept all of these boxes for pieces and stuff like that, I'm moving all of my fragile pieces and bubble wrapping the ones that don't have boxes and just wrapping them, securing them and getting it all good to go. And the dogs are just chilling. You guys are just watching over everything. You really blend into the couch, Rue. That's her favorite spot. And this room is insane. The whole house is honestly pretty insane right now. We have all of our donations like shoved to the side over there and there's just a lot going on. But last night I took off of the walls all of my art and we're taking all of the little, you know, nails and stuff out and all of the Velcro and things, the adhesive strips so that we can just spackle and paint over them. I haven't packed any of the bathroom or anything yet, but I did clear off my entire desk, which you guys saw last night, but this is still insane. I just keep coming in and out of this room to grab packaging and like bubble wrap and boxes. The tiny boxes I didn't think would come in handy, but they actually are for all of these little tiny little trinkets. So that's really great because we'll just put all of those into tiny boxes and then put them into big boxes. And I started taking some of my bigger art off this wall last night with all of my music stuff, but I don't really have tall enough boxes for it. So they're all like slipping out of the tops, but it's okay. I just need something to protect them along the way. And um, yeah, that's currently what we're up to. Just sorting away. I have talked about this on my Patreon, but not on here I'm realizing, but neither Finley nor I smoke anymore. And I may return to it in the future, but I'm currently going for at least a six month break. And I made an entire video about this, like explaining it and all that kind of good stuff for Patreon if you're curious. But I'm still keeping all of my pieces, obviously, because they're a badass, one. And two, I may return in the future. So, you know, I need to preserve all of my beautiful pieces because a lot of these pieces are like truly works of art. Like this is my trophy from being on the weed tube and reaching a thousand subscribers back in the day. And I'm very glad that I kept the boxes that these came in so that I can transport all of them safely. For the most part, I've kept the boxes. And then if I haven't, you know, I'll find another way to pack them beautifully. But I just wanted to say that because again, I don't think that I had said that yet on YouTube. And so some of you are probably like, why are you even keeping any of that stuff if you're not currently using it? It's because it's cool, okay? And it's part of my larger glass collection now. And ideally in the future, I would love to have a nice, you know, glass cabinet that I could put somewhere, maybe in like my streaming room or my office gaming room area, have some nice LEDs in there, color changing perhaps. Like that's my vision, that's my vibe, but I don't know when that time will come because we haven't found our house yet. <laughs> but it'll all come in due time. I also wanted to say how free freaking happy I am that I haven't donated all of these rubber bands to my post office yet because they're coming in handy so much for wrapping all of these pieces without using tape. So I'm just like wrapping them in bubble wrap and then, you know, using these to secure the bubble wrap around them. Perfect little package. All right, first big old box packed. Well, my first big old box. Finley's been packing some other stuff. And I did pack all of our craft stuff as well, but I haven't sealed that box yet because it's not full. So we don't want any caving in of boxes when we stack them. You guys wanna go out with your father? Okay. Okay, now I'm going to sort my books. Finley sorted his yesterday and now it's time for mine. I have more upstairs as well, but I'm just gonna start piles and categorizing them, which will help me in the long run. If you hear the drill in the background, Finley's in the basement taking some things down, but I'm gonna show you my book collection. So this is all of my poetry, all sorted. This is two piles of fantasy, basically. The only reason that these aren't over here is because I don't want to injure these three and they're really, really pretty books. So I'm just like keeping them separate. <laughs> then we have all spirituality. And then this is all cookbooks and one like cocktail book. I love this cocktail book. It's fucking awesome. I found it at an antique store. And then this is all pretty much herbalism books. There is one fertility book in here, which I guess 
guess I could have just made like a separate like women's health kind of section, but I don't even know how many books I have like that. So I'm just keeping that in with my herbalism studies. And then this is all kind of like nature books as well as gardening books and books about like the world at large. I don't really know where to put this astrophysics for people in a hurry book. So I just kind of put it in there. And then this is also something that I was a little bit confused about relationship books as well as kind of like erotica. I don't know. I have a small pile of those <laughs> and it's funny enough next to my children's books. So my mom gave me this book last time I was home called Kids Are Worth It. And then I put these two children's books on top that I've just purchased in the past, but might as well hold on to them for future kiddos. This is kind of where I started to lose my mind a little bit and I didn't know how to categorize a lot of these like biographies and fiction and I was just kind of losing it. So I just put this category as wildly popular hardbacks and this as wildly popular paperbacks. So I have mostly fiction in here, but some random biographies and stuff like that. Um, over here, I have the only YouTuber books that I actually enjoyed, three of them. The rest I've like donated. And then I have books by famous authors, famous people. Also over here, I have zines and small homemade books by friends and stuff like that, as well as kind of like art books. And then lastly, I would say that this is pretty much my most beloved pile my young adult books. I love YA. So now I gotta pack all of these up into these Amazon Fresh boxes, which have really come in handy for us with the books, because then we can just pick them up with the straps and they're very sturdy. Hey y'all, I just realized this morning when I woke up that I have been recording this vlog for about two weeks now. And it might not seem like two weeks to you, but I've just been getting little clips here and there of, you know, every day what we're doing for the move. And now it just feels like a good place to stop in this vlog because we've gotten a lot done. A lot of decluttering and downsizing, reorganizing, getting rid of things. And today I'm going to be listing a couple of our old bookshelves because Finley's going to build one for us when we move and we have a bunch of really beautiful live edge wood for it already that we're taking with us so we don't need to bring our old bookshelves so I'm gonna rehome those today as well as some tables in the basement that he used for all of his like projects and hardware stuff and I'm also going to finish taking everything off of the walls in my office and just trying to make it look less freaking chaotic because we're also having friends over today we're having a little bit of a going away party very small only the real ones, you know, not like everybody I've ever met in Oregon, just our closest friends. So they're coming over today around five. So I'm not streaming tonight. And I'm also not streaming this weekend because I'm going on a bachelorette trip, which is also the reason why we're trying to like get so much packing done every day is because months ago when I got the plans for this bachelorette trip and got the invite, I was telling Finley like, this is literally the weekend before our move out date. Are you sure you would like me to go? And he was like, yeah, go, totally go. I'm just gonna be packing everything myself. I really don't care, I think you should go. You should definitely go. I was like, okay. So today is Wednesday when I'm filming this outro clip and probably when this vlog is going to go up. And I normally stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday and I only streamed Monday this week and I'm not streaming tonight because I have friends over and I'm not streaming Friday because I'll be in Denver. And then we'll see if I stream next week because we move out this upcoming Thursday. So when I get home from the trip on Sunday night, I'm just going to be packing every single day until our move out date next Thursday on September 1st. And then we are going to head to Virginia, unload there, continue the search for our Vermont home from Finley's parents' guest house, hang out with the pigs, and just live our best life. But I will probably have at least two more moving vlogs that I'm filming in the meantime. I'm gonna film more of the packing process. I feel like I haven't really filmed that much packing, but I feel as though we've gotten a lot done. I mean, there's lots of things packed back here, and Finley's been working on the basement all day today, and I have some things to do myself as well in that time. There he goes with the vacuum. That's my cue to head on out. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this kind of chaotic vlog. I was doing a lot, but I'm glad that you watched it and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm also on Twitch and I'm on Patreon, although my schedules on there will be a little bit spotty over the next few weeks as we move across the country. But either way, I'll be here, I'll be vlogging, okay? I love you. Stay smiling, bye y'all. <music>